Well, 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 what is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is Jertastic, and welcome to this episode today where I'm gonna be covering how to make even more money on your island from things that you already have, but you're probably not utilizing. So let's get it started. Now, before we get started, I've already made episodes or videos on Tropical 6 Money Guide and Industries to Make Easy Money in Tropical 6, 10 Tips and Tricks in Under 6 Minutes for Tropical 6, Best Way to Import Export for Tropical 6, and I've also made an episode disregard, um, regarding just how to make money with Tropical 6. So we understand this, this episode or this series is not gonna be so much about how to make the money in Tropical 6, it's how to add more money in your bank account because you're probably not utilizing these three things. And let's start off with the most important one. I don't like cliffhangers. I'm gonna tell you what it is right off the bat. So let's say you have a lot of industries. You already established the industries. You already established this. You already established that, but you're still not making money. The reason for that I'm willing to bet is you're not utilizing this, which is Teamsters offices. Now, there are a few things and a few tips for you you need to make to, in order to utilize the Teamsters offices, but you can have all the industries in the world that you need, but if there's nobody to move them around, there's nobody to take them from the factory to the dock, then you're not gonna make that money. That money's gonna be sitting in the factory at very, and it's gonna move at very, very, very slow and minimal pace. So you need to have more Teamsters offices. How do you go about setting those up for the most success? In my case, whenever I plop a mini industri industrial area, you will see a couple Teamsters offices for over here. Then you will probably see them over here as well. See, this area has more industrial office uh, area and you probably will see them um let me show you here over here so i am plopping all over the map now some people put them in the same row and i don't think that's very very smart because how tropical six mechanics work is they're gonna go to always what's closer to them sometimes okay so plopping them right all over the map or having a central area for teamsters offices which i've done before isn't always going to help you this is why you need to spread them around the map and make sure that they are well covered. Now, on top of that, there are things in the Teamsters offices that you can do to help you improve, especially if you have a, a, a higher unemployment. You can set this right here, a second shift, which is gonna add more positions or more shifts to your Teamsters offices. It'll go from six to 12. So that's a 100% increase in employee work, workforce. So over and over again, what we see or what I see in my comments is I have the industries, but I'm not making the money. My, my, my factories are producing, but nobody's moving them. Well, again, Teamsters offices run Tropical 6. They really do. Similar to the J Jimmy Hoffa situation back then and all this stuff, the Teamsters offices really do have a lot of weight to the economy in Tropical 6. So the number one trick to improving the money is to having Teamsters offices. The second trick that you guys are not doing to increase your money is not utilizing the budgets in your buildings. There's gonna have to come a point in Tropical 6 where all your buildings will have to be on max budget. Otherwise, nobody's gonna wanna work in there and otherwise the efficiency will be down. Now, let's take a look at this, for example. Right now, the efficiency is at 147%. If I was to remove this, that'll go back to 97%. Now, if you're even in the earlier eras, that's not gonna be this sweet. It's not gonna be this good. There's a reason I'm, I'm, it's at, it's at a higher efficiency now and I'm gonna get covered at in just a second. But what I'm trying to get at is you need to pay attention and start paying attention to the budgets in your buildings. If the budget is low, the efficiency is gonna be small, whether it's uh, um, a building that produces money or a building that produces services. So in this case, once again, efficiency here is uh, about 117. I take it down, it goes to 67. You get what I'm saying here. What I also encourage over and over again is make sure you guys don't do this early on because it will cut in your profits big time. You have to wait for the right time and the right place to increase the budgets, but the budget increase is not optional. If you don't increase the budget, then the efficiency is not going to work out. Now, in the earlier stages, you can pick and choose which factory or which workplace you can increase the budgets to. And guess which one I'm going to recommend you increase the budget to right off the bat? Ding, 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 ding. Yep. Teamsters offices. Those should be increased way earlier on. 
what I start doing usually in the, uh, in the, in the New World era, uh, what I start doing yes, yeah, sometimes in the Cold War era, that's where I start, okay, mass increasing the budgets. But Colonial era, uh, World War era, I, I usually pick and choose its construction offices, um, Teamsters offices, things that, are, that need to get the economy going and booming. So make sure you increase the budgets in your buildings. It will increase your money-making ability in Tropical 6. Another thing I want to point out is the third thing and the final thing I want to point out of why you might not be struggling to move your money around, not necessarily make money, but moving your money around in Tropical 6 are the edicts. Okay, the edicts are very, very simple. One of them might be counterintuitive to what I just told you, but hear me out. The mandatory siesta increases the job quality of each workplace by 20%, but decreases the efficiency by 8%. And you gotta tell me, well, Jerry Tassik, you just got done telling us to increase efficiency, and now you wanna decrease it by this. Okay, hear me out. When their work quality, when the quality of work increases, they're gonna be more happier with you overall, but you can counter that with employee of the month. Because my and industrial area buildings are gonna, gonna work double the shifts. So what does this mean in case you're not aware? So let's click on a random anything, basically. Let's click on, on this, okay? So what this really, this means is, one person is on shift and the rest are not. Now, this is not an industrial uh, building, but I'm just giving you an example, right? Uh, let's take a look at, 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 a, at, at like a mining area, like an actual industrial building. What this means is these three people, instead of, for example, working eight hours, they're gonna work 16 hours, for example, right? That's what that does. And guess what? Industrial areas, they don't produce if there's nobody in them. So there's no iron output right now because there's nobody working in it. Yes, you might be increasing or decreasing the efficiency, but employees a month is gonna increase how long they're there. What that means is the longer they're there, the more it's gonna produce for you. So make sure you utilize these edicts to help you with that. That's, these two to me are a must. They're, they're a must. The second thing is agriculture subsidies, okay? Increases efficiency of all agriculture buildings, by 30%, it does increase the upkeep, but it is what it is in the long term. In the long term, it'd be worth it. You wanna look at things that increase efficiency or things that increase their shift time. So make sure you utilize these edicts. Now, as far as the constitution is concerned, if you go under labor policy, if let's say, for example, you're noticing that you're having a hard time filling up these jobs, you have the industries, all that, you wanna go a life's work. For me, I'm early retirement because as you can see up here, my economy is doing pretty good, right? So right now I shifted from um, building economy to building more political stability. But I'm talking about the person who's not really yet there, okay? A life's work, you're gonna have to do it. They're not gonna like you for it, but, but it is what it is. It will increase efficient, it will increase the workforce. So the three things is make sure Teamsters offices are located and located properly. Oh, one more, I'm gonna give you a bonus one. I'll, I'll, I'll make this number four as a bonus one. If, you're gonna build a, a cigar factory that needs tobacco, then make sure the tobacco plantation is not too far away. See, cigar, it's tobacco, cigar, tobacco, right? Rum, sugar, rum, sugar. Because in Tropical 6, they really, really do have a hard time. If, for example, my cigar factory is here and my tobacco plantation is here, I'm willing to guarantee you that the Teamsters office is gonna pick the tobacco from here and go take it off to the, to the nearest port. That's just what they do. That's just what they do. So please make sure they're close. So that's tip number four to also increase the efficiency, increase your money. And again, this video was made for people that already kind of have the thing like, I've already done what I needed to do. I already have the industries, I already have that, but I'm not seeing my money move around. And this, I'm wanting to bet these are the reasons why your money's not moving around the island, okay? With that being said, if this video helped you out, help me out by hitting the subscribe button, and like button. If you need more videos, like I said, I got about four of them right here you can watch. And they're very, like I have a tremendous catalog of Tropical 6 and even Tropical 5 tips and tricks on how to make money, how to have a successful island, Tropical 6, et cetera, so on and so forth. But I hope this video was helpful, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to answer them for you in the comments section below. With that being said, my name is Jurtastic and I am out. See you guys.